What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Day2KTV here. Back now, very famous today. I brought y'all with another story time. Now, listen, listen. I put on my Instagram, I put on what y'all want to see. My weirdest sex story or my first fight. The results were, um, how can I say this? Like, over. It's a word. I don't know. I don't really know what kind of word it is, but it's a word. So it's about sending them, answering them, something like that. Today, I brought y'all with my weirdest sex story. Now, listen, listen, listen. Use this for your own experience. Don't ever in your life, ever in your life, go to this type of, type of story. But without further ado, <laughs> let's go with the video. <laughs> So I pick up the phone. If you ain't talking money, watch your tone. I know these niggas coming from my throne, but I had these niggas running to their homes. Old bitches from my car love asking me how I've been holding. Now this story took place last year. Literally, this just happened to me like last year. And I was out the county, you feel me? I was out there doing my thing, you feel me? Like, I was really out there. You, you should you should have cut. Y'all saying y'all seen me? I ain't had no cut, I had no nothing. But now your boy D2K is back. And I, and I don't belong to the streets, by the way. Uh Anywho, I was at the county, you feel me, and with my mans. So, he told me, like, yo, this girl said, you look good. She said, come slide her place. I said, bet, I'm going to go slide through. So, went over her shit, right? Went over her shit, right? Listen, listen, listen to me, bro. Listen to me. So, I get over to her house, you feel me? We cool it. We chilling for her. We chilling. So, her mom said, came home, and Lo was like, all right, don't do nothing in here. You know, you know my rules. Tell him to talk to the girl. You feel me? Tell him, you know my rules. Don't do nothing stupid in here. It's like, all right, I got you, got you. So her mother upstairs. We in the living room. So she like, you trying to do something? I said, shorty, your mom just said, don't touch me. Like, dad just said, don't touch me. <laughs> so she get to touching the kid, you know, me. You touch on with me. I'm going to give you that work. That work, work, work. You can't see that. You can't see my little body, but we get it work. So... I'm like, yo, chill, like, we not even gonna do that for her. I ain't gonna disrespect your mom for real. So she like, are you born? And I said, let me be born. I ain't trying to disrespect your mom, you feel me? So the next day come, I go over the house again. Mother home. So I get to like, all right, I kind of want some play. Kind of don't. Kind of like procrastinate. Like, should I make a move? Should I not? I said, no, nah, I'm, I'm gonna just like chill out. I'm gonna wait till her mom's not here one day. And we gonna get there going. Busy. 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 So it was a Friday. A Friday afternoon at 3.30 p.m. I remember the time sat like like the back of my membrane. So we was cooling on the couch. Mom's left out. Told me I had a debt because she leaving out. She don't even play that type of stuff. So I get to walk and I'm like, all right, I'm going to go back home. She texted me like, just go in the alley. I'm going to unlock the back door. I said, oh, she's trying to get lady, lady like a titty titty. So I goes around the alley, come back in. Mom gone. I was to ourselves. We get to going on the couch. Get to going on the couch. All I know, door get to opening. I run down the basement. You feel me? I wasn't playing. No type of games. I run down that basement. I'm just sitting down there. Listen, her basement was not clean. Like it was like nobody had ever been down there. They only got a washing machine down there in my neck. So tell her cobwebs, spider webs, spiders, bugs, ants, roaches, rats, and all that down there. Like, so I'm sitting like on a step. Like I'm just chilling on the step. You feel me? Mother, go right back out. I come back up. Mind you, I'm butt naked. Like anything could have caught up my caught up my butt, you feel me? Like I was I had no clothes on in the basement. So we get to go in the game, you feel me? Get to go in the game, get to giving it that day two KTV work, like showing you why why I'm the the best living video game out here, you feel me? You know, day two K. So get to go on, get to go in again. All of a sudden, doors open it again. Go down the same spot. Why well, I heard mother keep coming home, bro. I'm trying to get busy, bro. So all you know. Mother come in, like, I swear I just seen somebody in here. She said, no. She goes, check around the house. Didn't check the basement. Get to walk back out. I come back upstairs. I start sneaking. Whole time, her mother was like, let me see. She had the door unlocked, so she ain't had to lock the door. Like, unlock the door to come back in. She's left it unlocked. I come back upstairs. Ass out. Dick out. Chest out. Feet out. I don't never strip that much, but... She was a baddie, I had to do what I had to do. All you know, mother busting the door like SWAT. I got, <laughs> I'm standing like, damn, I'm looking at the door. I'm like, damn, yo, damn. <laughs> so here's where the awareness are coming in, right? So listen, before any of this, I had seen her mother at my job. She came to pick her son up from uh, my camp. So her mom's dead ass told me that I looked good and all that. I looked good and all that. Yo, 
The moment I got quick, her mom's looking at me, like standing me dead in my face, look down at my pee pee and look at me again. She goes upstairs, tell me to put on my clothes and come upstairs. I say, damn, yo, she really gave me that talk of the century. So I goes upstairs, you feel me? I'm cooling, we talking. Mom's get the like, on some like, crazy type stuff. Like she get the, get the like, taking off her shirt. I'm like, whoa, like, whoa, what you doing? <laughs> like, chill. So she like, I'm just changing, I'm going somewhere, I'm leaving back out, but you really come with me. I said, huh, I'm not coming with you. So her mom's was low-key kind of young, like not, not like real old, she's like in her like, probably early 30s now, but she was like in her like late 20s when I when I met her. So, well, no, that made her, she probably like 30 now. I think she's like 30 going on 31, but she's like 20 something when I met her. So get the, let her run, watching this grown lady strip right in front of me. <laughs> so I had never told none of my friends this. None of my friends have ever heard this story, but y'all right here first. Yeah, I remember my threesome story, right? Yes, I've had two whole threesomes in my life. Only two, and I'm trying to have another one, but you know, we can arrange that another time of the day. Uh, listen, so her daughter get to come upstairs, like asking for me, like, where they Sean at, where they Sean. Her mother, like, he ain't here. So they get to go in the room, get to chilling. She gave the talk to her, giving her that talk. Like, next time you do that, like, they Sean, I'm telling your mama, I said, all right, you ain't gotta do all that, because, like, my mother look kind of crazy, like, chill. So, boom, oh, you know, she, like, well, since y'all wanna be nasty so bad, let's be nasty. Yo, <laughs> my face dropped, bruh. Like, she said, let's be nasty. I said, you for real? So I'm looking at her mother in shock. I'm looking at the girl in shock. I'm shocked. Like, I'm like, yo, did her mother just say, let's get nasty, bro? So in an instant, yo, in an instant. I can't make this up. Like, this is like, just, oh my God. So her mother put on a robe. I should have knew something was up when she put the robe on because she said that she was leaving back out when I'm going with her. But why would I go back out the house with her and she had a robe on and it's like 80 something degrees outside, you might die and burn up. So listen, took the robe off. Mind you, I didn't pay attention to her when she got dressed. I didn't know what she put on. I just know she put the robe on and that was it. Yo, this lady takes the robe off, had some lingerie on, bro. I ain't gonna you, she might have been the baddest mother I ever met. <laughs> like, damn, her body was like, <laughs> Not like that. I was like squiggly and nasty. It was like, it was like slim a little bit and then it curved down and then it was like, oh my God. So her daughter was looking at me. I'm looking at the door like, I don't really that door to get up. Like, no, I just stay. I'm like, bro, bro, how are you the reason? Like, bro, I'm not, no, 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 no. I can't, I can't fuck somebody's mother and your daughter, bro. Like, this is not no porno, bro. This is not no porno. So, Girl, I was messing with get the undressing. I think they plotted on me. I think they plotted on me. Listen, listen. No way in hell, and I mean no way in hell, you go to a girl house, get caught with her mother. I put this on anybody. You can go to your girl house right now, bro, right? I'm talking about you right here. You can go to your house, you can go to your girl house right now. Her mother catch y'all doing the nasty, you feel me? I promise you her mother, first reaction, will not tell you to come upstairs. She's not gonna get dressed, put some laundry on, put a robe on. Yo, if y'all had experienced this before, Y'all the goats. Y'all the goats like me. You feel me? We, we goats out here. Raise your hand. Just raise your hand. Say you're a goat. I am goat. Girl, get the get. I'm like, yo, she really getting undressed. They both were just staring at me. I get it. Looking down at my man. I'm like, bro, I think it's time for us to do some investing. <laughs> so I'm trying like to like, no, I'm not gonna do that. Like, I can't fuck a mother, a baddie, a bad mother, and her daughter. Like, that don't even. There's not no like. No stepson and stepsis type game. <laughs> so they get to coming towards me. I'm like, yo, chill. Like, I don't need. So I'm like, like, think about like, should I push them away? Like, I don't put my hands on the nature. I say, I like, it's some sexual assault like that. So they get to coming towards me. Her mother, true born freak. I mean, like, she's been in the game for years because she, oh my God, this lady that went behind my ear, like, behind here, right? And get the licking in my shit, bruh. She went, she went from all the way up, all the way back down and bit my head, bruh, bruh, bruh. So I'm just sitting there and complete, like I'm froze, like this lady literally licked my ear, like 
Like she is true born freak, dumb nasty. Like, like Megan Stay said, freak, freak. I don't know if that was her, but freak nasty. Like, like Mulatto said, she's like a nasty. <laughs> Cause that shit was nasty. I never got turned doing so much. Bro, I lied to you, not. Since she did that, I was on go. I was just on go. I had to fuck a mother and her daughter. Cause, bro, nobody gonna lick behind my ear. Had me snapped in. Like I was like in a trance. Like she hypnotized me. Like as soon as I lick your ear, you gonna fall in love and want to have you know. Dude, nasty. And she looked my shit and I was dumb. In the middle of me get like prepared to do this, right? Mother get the like grabbing handcuffs and all that. I'm like, oh, these girls is nasty. They plotting on me, bro. Plotting on me. Her, she, her daughter left out the room. She like, come on, get to the bed. I said, found that bed fast. I said, whew. Went on the bed. She like, put your hand on the headboard. I said, Put my head on the headboard. Took my shirt, threw it over me. So I can't see nothing, like I'm blind. All I know, throw it open back up, right? All I hear is the door open back up, right? They talking. I heard like a clip, like, don't you know how like little like cookout, those little cookout things. I, I probably put it on the screen, but it's a little cookout uh lighter. And I heard it because I know what that sound like. I'm not stupid. So heard that. I just know for a split. Three seconds, my stomach was dummy hot. So the burning sensation. I'm sitting there smelling something. I'm like, yo, what is the smell? Like, am I am I catching on fire? These girls really trying to burn me. Like, what's going on? So I'm just smelling like sunflowers and, and sunshine and, and happiness. I'm like, I know these girls are not burning me with no damn candle wax. So I'm getting a fight and I'm like, yo, get on me right now, get on me. Get up. I'm tied up to the hip bump. Yo, yo, get up. It's not funny. It's not funny. So, listen, listen. Getting high candle wax going up and down your thing is like the worst, best experience I've had so far. Um, listen to me. Let me explain. Let me explain. I, how can I say this? High candle wax hurt it for like two seconds and then I felt better. And then I smell good. I don't know if I don't know if that's a good explanation. Um, listen, listen. When you get it poured on, you just just know they 2K sent you, and whoever does it to you, just know that they seen this video and they did it to you on purpose, accidentally. Um, anywho, listen. So all I know, God must have heard my prayers. God heard my prayers. God heard my prayers. Thank you, God, for for getting me out of that situation. My man's called me. Yo, I'm ready to come school. We ready to go to this party? I said, bet. Hung the phone up. They get the un like unhooking me, ungrabbing, whatever you wanna call it. Um, and I'm just sitting there. I'm like, yo, I ain't got hot wax all the way down. And the crazy part is, right? So as they pulling the hot wax on me, they're pulling my pants down. So I'm like, if they already set my dick on fire, I already have a hot dick in this in this bedroom. Like, I'm really burning, literally. <laughs> so listen, I'm just like sitting there, like, yo, should I do my deed? Or should I just leave? So I made a decision to do the deeds. I'm not real with you. I, I did the deeds. Um, listen, listen. Um, I had to. I had a baddie mother in front of me. I had a baddie right here. You think I'm not gonna take the opportunity to, to still do it? I had hot candle wax markings like here, 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 here. Like it dripped on me. And I have it close to my, I have my, my, my below my belly button. Like I was ready to get burnt, but not in like no S T D type way, burnt as in Nigga, your dick rate be on fire. So, listen, I did my deed. My mans can't pick me up. I laughed. I told him the story. And he like, yo, you're wild. Like, you're a cheap born freak. Like, what Lalo said, you like him nasty. <laughs> Never again. Never again. Never again. That's the first and last ever thing I want to have like that. Like, when a grown woman who's pouring hot candle wax up and down your pecs. I got pecs. I can, I can flex my titty like um, Teddy Cruz. Honestly, would I do it again? Fuck ass, yeah. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the story time. If you did, really like, subscribe. Um, listen, if you and your significant, significant other get to playing with candles and y'all still pouring candy wax on y'all, make sure y'all turn the day 2 KCB TV sent you to this video. That's all I got for you. I lied. That's not all I got for you. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, you know. Do what you gotta do. You know what to do. Damn, right now. I'm not playing. Or you're gonna get hot. Candle rice, put in your mouth. I'm pretty sure that hurts a lot.
Money calling, so I pick up the phone. If you ain't talking money, watch your tone. I know these niggas coming from my throne, but I had these niggas running to their homes. Old bitches from my call up, asking me how I been holding up. Hitting me up, bitch, you bold as fuck. But to be honest, I be rolling up. They want the smoke, but they ain't showing up. They talk a lot, but they ain't showing us. Told you niggas not to bet against.